someone asked me in January, hey, you ever think about taking three months off from dentistry? And I'll be like, yeah, when I retire. Um, it was never on my radar that we would have to shut down for this long. Dr. Peter Schatz is chairman of the Georgia Dental Association's COVID-19 Innovation Task Force. He's one of the people trying to help dentists navigate complicated guidance from the state, OSHA, and CDC on how to reopen safely. We were stood up to help our members better understand the complexities of the coronavirus from science, research, availability of PPE. 90% of dental offices in the U.S. were open for elective care by the first week of June, but it won't be business as usual. So the traditional waiting for your doctor's appointment inside the reception area is gone. We send a team member out into the parking lot actually to shoot a temperature and make sure that they're not experiencing any illness. What makes dentistry so high risk isn't just proximity to patients' mouths. It's the nature of the procedures themselves. What are some of the things that generate the most aerosolization of the virus? Anything using a high-speed handpiece, so fillings, uh, doing root canals. Dr. Kirk Norbo co-chaired a COVID task force for the American Dental Association. We're hand scaling now the teeth rather than using the Cavitron or the ultrasonic scaler to create as safe as an environment as we can. The CDC recently updated its guidelines to address routine dental care, stressing the importance of PPE, allowing downtime between patients and prioritizing emergency care. But a number of hygienists CBS News spoke with feel it's still too soon. I'm telling all of my friends and family, do not go to the dentist. It's probably the worst, most dangerous place you can go right now just because of the nature of the work with the aerosols. So let's take a look. Dr. Schatz and Norbo disagree and worry delaying care could lead to other health issues. The biggest risk in dentistry is uncontrolled infections, and those could lead to systemic disease, can aggravate underlying heart problems. I think a lot of people at home are going to be wondering, is it safe to go to the dentist? I think absolutely it's safe. The biggest thing I'd say is we're here for you. We're back in business. We feel like we've got a safe environment for our patients to return to. 